All right, guys, we got the smart car back out here again today. And the uh, AC on this thing quit working on me about the end of the season last year. Uh, I remember using a little bit in the fall and in the winter and the rain, you know, just for defrost. Um, and then it seemed to stop all of a sudden. Couldn't figure out what was going on with it. And, you know, I thought, well, I'll look at it. Now that it started to warm up. I decided to, to look back at it again and I checked the AC refrigerant yesterday and uh, it seemed like it had plenty of pressure on it. I drained some out, put some more in there. That didn't seem to do anything. Could not get the compressor to kick on. So I ended up calling over to <clears throat> the local shop and they told me that, oh no, we'll, we'll just have to take a look at it. I don't know what the problem would be. You know what we'll this. I'm just trying to get suggestions. Well, I got to reading online and they said that. Uh, you can have issues with your AC on, on uh, the, uh, the smart cars here because there's a temperature sensor for the evaporator and a temperature sensor outside. Now, if the temperature sensor that's down here for outside temp reads below 45, supposedly your AC won't kick on anyways. But on the inside, if your uh, temperature sensor goes out there, it won't kick on because it thinks it's already too cold. So I called, you know, I was talking to the shop and just said, you know, hey, you know, I read online, they said it could be a temperature sensor that's gone bad, and I wondered if that was it. And he was like, well, uh, well, uh, you know, I, I, you know, it could be, but it's, it's very rare that happens. I, out of the 30 years I've been doing this, I've only seen that very little. The 99% of the ones I do, that's not the problem. I was like, okay, you know, I said, well, I'll check it out, and if I, if I need to, you know, get y'all to check it out, I'll come back up there. He goes, okay, and I got fun with him. Well did more research and, and some guys said oh man the wires on there are really crappy and they were they are really crappy and uh so it turns out that's all that was wrong with mine was the the connector had broken the wires were hanging out and uh i'll show you that here there's some video i took of the connector and some pictures and whatnot so check it out all right so here's the uh little piece right here but, uh, focus. and it essentially just broke off this is half of it the half that was inside the sensor the other half just broke off of it and this is the wires that were in the other half that just broke off so i don't know if this got like kicked up in the dash or or so or what i mean it was it just came right off so these wires weren't connecting anymore that's why it was starting to go kind of intermittently for a while and then just went away so i ended up draining some refrigerant putting some more back in and that didn't do anything but I'm gonna see if I can get these wires in here and maybe uh, uh, solder them or something like that. All right, so I was able to use my pair of pliers here and just crimp down on the end of that that broke off, make it into a tiny square and force it um, back down into the connector here. And those are actually in there really tight, so I don't think I'll need to solder them or anything. And they just go on some tiny little pins in there so now I've just got to reconnect these wires back to the car. This is the only way to do it, was to do it here, and then you reconnect it back to the car. So that should fix it. Okay, the connectors are on here. Now I'm just gonna take my wire strippers and stuff back out of the car, reconnect the wires, and this should be it. All right, guys, it is uh, fairly late, actually. So I just got the wires connected uh, right on the dash here. Uh, here's what that looks like. So you can see that uh, the wires that I've got connected back, you can see the two wires hanging down, the pink and the blue. Uh, so I've stripped those up under the dash and then reconnected them to my piece. And uh, we're gonna try, I'm about to crank it up. I'm, I'm, thinking it's gonna work so uh it looks like it'll be good to go better than the factory at least for holding so uh but all right let's uh try it uh keep going in fire it up see if the ac kicks on there it goes the ac just kicked on and cold and it'll probably kick off pretty quickly because it's 50 something degrees out here i think it already kicked out yeah it did so there we go so 
if I add a little bit of heat to it. It'll kick back on here. Yep, just kick back on. There we go. That fixed it. That was all I needed. Cool. So now I'm going to put a can uh I put some in it yesterday, I put some regular refrigerator in there. This is a can of stop leak with a detector in there. Just reconditions the O-rings like that since it hasn't been ran in a while. And I think it just needs a little bit shot more refrigerant, which this has. So again, remember that the uh, the clip is right here. Just uh, pop those open, that works a little tab over in here. All right, so here's the condenser, which is right there. And off to the side of the condenser is a, uh, a line off the top. There's one plug, that's your high side. have to jump that off but this is just the front I'm gonna try to do the, the rear see if I can get that back to the low side and then see if we can feed some new refrigerant in here 